So how would you describe um, your characters? I am Nick and I am uh, a man deeply in love, as he's just discovered, uh, with Sophie and uh, want to have their relationship go to the next stage. So a loving, caring, beautiful man with a great beard is probably <laughs> how I would. Um, I am so. Um, I'm a musician and a composer, and I'm a 30 something girl who's just trying to figure out her life really and is encountering a few little kind of bumps along the way. A Quite a few bumps, some, some not just bumps, but some kind of hills. Uh, I'm Alice, and Alice is very logical and disciplined. She likes things um, the way she has them set in her mind, she doesn't like altering from the course. She uh, High maintenance. likes things. <laughs> Keeps doing the judgments. You do. She likes things neat and particular. And I play uh, frankly darkly. I'm a uh, stone-hearted creature of unknown origin, and I'm kind <laughs> of uh, I'm kind of uh, sort of a bit mischievous, but also a bit nasty. And I come along to annoy Soph, and I kind of completely ignore Nick and Alice. But uh, but um. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm no. sort of somewhere between the imaginary and the real. What is your favourite part of the play? I love the opening with these two guys. It's just, it's really, you just can't not smile. Like, it's really, it just looks like a fun night out and you want to be, you want to be in the room having tequila shots with them and dancing, really. I think my favourite part of the play is some of the physical fun stuff, like little dance routines mm. that Nick and I get to have. Mm -hmm. Really light and That's fun. Um, um, some of the emotional bits are good too. You get to be a bit of a drama queen and kind of flail around and screw your face up and have a few tears. It's pretty fun, isn't it? And there's a bit in the play where it turns into a bit of a, a, a fast. The style of it sort of is in flux. It's, it's, it's rapid fire, it's quick, and it's kind of classical. The right and the flamingo. And yeah, all, all that, that stuff is quick, it's funny. I think the audience will be really focused and listening and smiling. Another one of my favourite parts is some of the dream sequence parts. Um, I think the music plays a really big part in this show and it's the music that really shifts it from that farcical world into the paranormal and the strange and her inner world. It's having a trumpet player speaking in that. On the stage. I've changed cool. my mind, I've got a different favourite No, you part. can't. <laughs> what will we call it? Ain't no wonder left.